Alright, alright, alright. Today we're gonna do a clone of Gmail. Let's go. I want you to build a Gmail clone. Let's go. Alright, it's not gonna complain, it's just gonna work. And just as a heads up, we might face some high demand error we're scaling up our capacity but it's definitely worth it if we hit it we'll hit retry and we'll get there so here cybercoder which is the autonomous coding agent built by black box is the best and the only coding agent that is available on vs code that will literally transform the way you code you're gonna see we're not gonna write a single line of code. The latency is being worked on right now. So you should see a two to three X at least improvement in latency. Right now is due to the high demand and restricted capacity that we're uh, uh, allocating and uh, we're working on it to make sure that it's gonna get significantly faster. As I told you, we're witnessing high demand, but no factor we refactor. All right. So you see, I'll help you build a Gmail clone. Let's start by creating a new directory and setting up the basic structure. First, I should create a new directory for the Gmail clone project, then create the basic HTML structure with modern email interface layout, add CSS for styling interface similar to Gmail, Add JavaScript for basic functionality. Let me start by creating the project directory and the initial HTML file. So let's go. All we have to do is approve, hit save, and then Blackbox will continue thinking while we hydrate. Very important to hydrate. As you can see now, so far, if you follow the channel, we already built a Linktree clone, a Bitly clone, a Box.com clone for file sharing. Now we're building a Gmail clone. Cybercoder does not only build application from scratch, it also has the ability to add more features on existing code base. So by the way, Cybercoder is building the code for Cybercoder. Uh, so you're going to see a very fast pace of improvement of Cybercoder itself because Cybercoder is working nonstop on it. So you, here you see the diff. And without even reading, I'm just going to hit accept. A few notices here is uh, once the application is going to get completed, Cyber Coder is going to be able to test it by himself inside the browser. So it has computer use. It will be able to test to make sure that everything is working properly uh, before we start testing it. Uh, if it's taking too much time, we might bypass this process and then we might test it ourselves. But um, this is definitely an option that's available for all users. You can download it directly inside your VS code. You can only search for black box. You'll find the extension that has 3.2 million installs. You just hit download. It will get you access to the black box chat assistant and the black box autonomous coding agent that is Cybercoder. So uh, the assistant is here, but I'm not gonna d disturb you here from this, but the main purpose of the assistant, sometimes you have some small questions, sometimes you want to search the web for some specific questions. Black box AI code chat is available to answer any question that you have and cyber coder is available to do and to complete tasks for you uh, from A to Z without you hitting any keystroke or touching the mouse. All you have to do is hydrate. Unexpected API response. The language model did not pr provide any assistant messages. All right, all right, all right. We're at the browser step here. Let's go. Boom. We here. You see, this is a Gmail clone. Pretty cool, huh? 
here we're hitting some uh, max capacity but no factor this is the link tree thing here we're just gonna hit and boom take a look compose let's see what's gonna happen here let's email elon our friend our friend elon he's landing rockets how's the landing of the rocket hey elon I was just in a meeting with your friend. Guess who? Larry. Larry who? Larry from Oracle. Let's go. Larry Allison is a goat hit send it's sent let's see if we find it in the send no then what we're gonna do here we're gonna tell the cyber coder that we're gonna edit let's go yo when i send an email then i visit the sent folder i don't find it Please show all sent emails in the sent folder. Let's go. So here, this is an opportunity for us to showcase how the new feature that we just requested to the cyber coder is going to happen. As you can see, all we did is just hydrate and cyber coder is thinking, generating the code. The UI looks good. Not bad, GitHub, welcome to GitHub. Let's let's begin your coding journey. Ah, uh, here also like the emails are not opening. We're gonna tell it this, no factor, but pretty cool, huh? You see, this is Gmail clone. We didn't write a single line of code. All right. So, no factor, witnessing high demand. All we have to do is hit retry. You see, let me help you fix the scent. Approve. It's going to think by itself. And then approve. All you have to do is hydrate. By the way, while we're waiting, I'm going to show you here blackbox.ai, pretty cool. Here we're going to say what are the latest releases by Tesla. Let's see. Tesla has been active with several updates and new models. The latest notable release include the upcoming Cybertruck, which features durable design and advanced technology. Additionally, the new Model Y is expected to launch next year. Let's go. As you can see here, we have the version 24.44.3.1 for the FSD, just like the full self-coding here. Here we have full self-coding. Tesla has, has full self-driving and we're live. As you can see, I see the issue currently. The sent email are not being stored or displayed when switching to the sent folder. Let me implement this functionality. You see it's removing some code, adding some code, one in the head, two in the chest, and then that's all it needs.
hydrate. Save. All you have to do is hydrate. So here we're on a quest to build 100 apps between today and tomorrow. Boom! It is done. Let's go. Refresh. Let's go in the sent. No email sent yet. Let's go. So who we're going to email? Who do you want to email? Let's email Aaron, our friend from Box. He's a cool dude. Box rocks. Hey, Aaron. Big fans of Box.com. Keep it up. You the goat. Sent. What happens? Boom. We see it in the sent emails. You see? Now we're going to give it feedback saying, hey, I can't open the sent email. No factor, refactor. Let's continue. Hey. Good work. However, when I click on the sent emails or on any email in my inbox I cannot open the emails let's go here we gave it the feedback and then black box is thinking black box is approving and all we have to do is hydrate let's go so here Next, we're going to build a clone 